Good morning, everyone. Good morning. So good to see all of you. So good to see our families. And for those who are joining us, worshiping with us on site and online, brother. Good morning. Magandang magandang umaga po. Please do keep on tagging your friends, your family members. Also, share our life. stream and so before we start may, why don't we all stand up and um, as we start as we worship God let me just read to us this verse Matthew 11 verses 28 to 30 it says here come to me all who labor and are heavily laden and I will give you rest Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and lowly in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. How many of us here are feeling like tired reading the Facebook and um, news feeds? Diyan natin alam ko anong kulay ng Facebook news feeds. Diyan natin alam kung pink ba yan, pula, green, blue. Well, how many of us here believe that God is sovereign and God is in control? That He can and He will deliver us. And He, he will rescue each and every single one of us, especially our nation. Why don't we come to His presence? Lord, we thank You for today. Thank You, God, for this time that we can come to you and give all our burdens, our worries to you, Lord Jesus. Lord, at the end of the day, Lord, we know, Lord, that you will come because you have given your one and only son how much more the things, God, that we are, that we are praying for. Yung mga uh, burden na pinagpe-pray namin, yung mga uh, pinagpe-pray namin na dapat ganito, dapat ganyan, Lord Jesus. Ay na po ang bahala. We want to walk by faith, Lord Jesus. Lord, pagod na kaming umiikot-ikot, running in circles. Lord, pagod na kaming lumalayo. Lord, your will be done in our lives. In each and every single one of us. This we pray in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Come on, let's worship our Lord Jesus. Let's start putting our hands together now.
Why don't we sing this again? It's not my battle. Thank you, God. Your spirit goes before me. So every enemy must bow. In your name, Lord. Thank you, God. Because you make mountains move. You pull strongholds down. None can stand against you. Kings lay down the crowns. Every fear is silence. For your word is true. And it seems there's no way you make mountains move. Say this 
There's no way you make my mountains move when it seems there's no way you make mountains move. Well, why don't we give God praise today? Come on, give him praise today. Give praise to the King who can move mountains.
So holy, one more time. So holy, so so great. And we shout your name, O God. Come on, give your praise. Give your praise. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Yes, truly, blessing and honor belongs to you alone. Not by our own works, God. Not how um, good we are, because we are not apart from you. And that's why we give all the glory and praises, because you're the Lord of Lords. You're the King of Kings. And Lord, we thank you. We thank you, God, for the salvation. We thank you, Lord, for the power that you're giving us. Thank you, God, for the righteousness that you have imputed in each and every single one of us on the cross. We give you praise and glory. In Jesus' name, amen. And amen. Come on, give God praise. Woo. Good morning once again. My name is Billy, one of your campus missionaries. Dito sa ating um, Victory Quezon Avenue. And this is our Saturday service, our hooray Saturday 11 a.m. service. So um, before you take your seat, please do greet the person right next to you. Kawai-kawai na lang po muna, smile na lang kayo, smirk, mga ganun. And for those who are joining us online, good morning as well. Kung tumayo ka habang nagwo-worship, you may take your seat and um, enjoy listening to the Word of God later on. And okay, how many single people we, do we have here in uh, dito sa Quezon Avenue ngayon? Marami ako nakikita actually. Alright, so it's not yet late to invite all of you okay, in our um, singles event. 
Seconds, we have our singles events later on at 6 p.m. entitled um, Valentine's What? Okay, so um, our aim and um, our purpose is to, uh, for us, okay, kasi magjo-join din ako, kaya as sinabi ko, um, to learn uh, um, about singlehood as well. Okay, and how are we going to enjoy our season, which is, I'm enjoying, baka kasi i-judge ako ni, ano eh, ni Ken. Hindi, joke lang. <laughs> okay. So, uh, please do join us later on at 6 p.m. Please register at our um, link that is on our screen also. It's on the uh, screen, sa online, or you may scan the QR code. Right? And as a church, as a movement, um, yung puso talaga natin is to reach out to the next generation and provide hope sa next generation. Uh, that's why we have this real life foundation wherein we provide hope in terms of um, education. And um, we are reaching out to the students even in the remote areas. That's why we're able to um, uh, I have one alumna from uh, Marawi. Okay, from uh, Marawi, you heard me right. Right, so um, let's listen to, sto to the story of this alumna um, by watching our video. At Real Life, we build different partnerships that help us provide access to education to under privileged students throughout the Philippines. One of our partners is the Bridge Student Center, an interreligious nonprofit organization that aims to serve communities and promote peace by bridging the gap among different cultures, ethnic groups, tribes, and religions. Our first alumna in Marawi is Raisa Haji Omar from the Bridge Student Center in their area. Hindi po ako lumaki sa biological parents ko. Sa grandparents ako lumaki. May sakit pa yung papa ko tapos yung mga pasok sa work. Hindi sila makapag-work ng matagal. Nakilala ko po yung Bridge Student Center. So, super na close ko sa kanila. Tapos sabi ko, nahihirapan na talaga. Baka hindi na talaga ako mag-enroll. Tapos sabi niya sa kanila, isa ako ganyan. Huwag kang mawala ng pag-asa, makakahanap tayo ng pag-provide. And then yun, bigla na lang ano, nag-announce yung RL na lumabas na yung result ng ano, mga pumasa. Super happy ako. Sabi ko, grabe yung, ano, yung blessing. And then realize ko na talaga na kailangan ko din talaga mag-aral para din sa sarili ko at para din makatulong sa ibang tao. Sa barangay namin, ang daming bata na hindi nakakapag-aral, para sa akin talaga, na-encourage talaga ako na gusto ko talaga magturo ng mga bata na hindi kaya mag-aral. So kung pumunta sa mga lugar na walang mga paaralan, Kasi gusto kong mag-share ng knowledge. Gusto kong matuto yung mga bata bilang papalit sa generation. Kailangan natin talaga magsipag mag-aral para ma-guide natin yung mga susunod na mga generation. Sa lahat po ng bumubuan ng Real Life Foundation, uh, maraming maraming salamat po sa lahat-lahat na binigay nyo, tulong nyo, ma-financial man, or mga prayers nyo. Grabe yung appreciate po namin ng mga scholar. Super laki ng may ampag nyo sa buhay namin. So, thank you, RL. We count the privilege that we get to bring hope and education 
to the underprivileged youth in Marawi. Thank you for your support and generosity that help us impart values to our scholars. This enabled them to participate in building their community and the nation. Praise God for what He's doing in the lives of these students. And um, yeah, thank you. We want to thank each and every single one of you for um, praying and also for sowing in the lives of these um, scholars. If you want to give through our um, real life on your seats, there's uh, envelopes. Just take the, the checkbox, um, real life. And also for those who are joining us online, uh, just visit our website, victory.org.ph. We're going to give for real life. And for our um, tithes and offering, let me read to us this verse coming from Luke chapter 8, verses 1 to 3. It says here, Soon after, afterward, he went on through cities and villages, proclaiming and bringing the good news of the, of the kingdom of God. And the twelve were with him. And also some women who had been healed of evil spirits and infirmities. Mary called Magdalene, from whom seven demons had gone out, and Joanna, the wife of Chusa. Herod's household manager, and Susanna, and many others, who provided for them out of their means. Join me in prayer. Lord, we thank you. We thank you for your word, for your scripture, God. Lord, we thank you for the lives of these women, Lord, whom you have um, called to provide in the gospel proclamation, Lord Jesus. Lord, in the same way with all of us, Lord, giving our tithes and offering, Lord, is also um, a taking part in gospel proclamation through the church, Lord Jesus. May you bless every single one of us as we proclaim the gospel, as we give to, um, to the needy as well, Lord Jesus. Jesus name. Amen and amen. Giving our tithes and offering is easy. Please do visit our website victory.org.ph you want to give through online for real life um, every nation campus and um, missions. And also QR codes is flashed on your screen also in your seats for those who are here with us on site. Just scan that QR code on your seats at the back of your seats actually um, to give to our uh, your tithes and offering. Also, every Saturday and Sunday we are open to um, for you to drop your tithes and offering. All right, God bless you as you you give. Good morning, everybody. Magandang umaga po sa ating lahat. Hooray! It's Saturday! Yes! Come on! Let's be joyful! Yan. Grabe, no? Nakakatuwa lang dahil sama-sama naman po tayo ngayon. Upang, of course, sambahin po natin ating Panginoon. Papurihan po natin siya sapagkat wala naman pong ibang karapat dapat at tumanggap niyan maliban sa ating Diyos. Amen ba? And of course, marami salamat din. It's because kahit na po Sabado ngayon, eh, nandito tayo lahat. Medyo kakaiba ito, no? We're starting 
uh, a new culture. Iba yung kultura natin, no? Nag-worship tayo ng Sabado. Okay. So, kaya nga, Sabadista na po tayo. Tama ba? Okay lang ba? Sabadista tayo ngayon. <laughs> Alright. So, sige, mukhang okay naman sa iba, no? Pero sa iba, okay lang din. Ha? Parang, Sabadista. Sabadista ba kami? Hindi, joke lang po yun. Ano? Whether here, whether it's Friday or Saturday or Wednesday, di ba? Kasi meron tayo Wednesday service. If we are here for the purpose of honoring the Lord, that day is a glorified, a sanctified day. Amen? Importante yun. So, pwede kayo mag-amen, ha? Pag gusto nyo, ha? Ayan, okay. <laughs> Alright. So, tingnan po natin yung ating mga clicker kung gumagana. Oy, gumagana. So, we are actually on the last um, installment ng ating pong serye. Parang kali serye serye no? Series po natin, which is Abide. Here, sa ating pong Abide, we're um, hoping na tayo pong lahat, eh, makita po natin kung gaano ka-importante yung salita ng Panginoon. How important it is. And so, in our lives, kung gano'n po siya importante sa buhay natin, at we have to study that. Aralin po natin mabuti, and we have to understand, hindi lang po aaralin, kailangan na maunawain, isa puso, isa puso po natin, of course, i-apply po natin sa ating mga buhay, kasi pag hindi po natin i-apply, ay sayang lang effort natin. Amen ba? So, ganun po. That's, we believe on the importance of the body. Bible, of the Word of God, and that's why we really study that. Itong abide na po ito. Itong ating series na abide. And this will be the last day of our abide. So next week, we have a brand new series. Okay, bago na po yung series natin. Okay? And so, for this, ang pag-usapan po natin, in the last discussion of this abide, eh, ito naman pong the Word keeps us from evil. Yung ato po, yung ating pong salta ng Panginoon ay nilalayo po tayo sa mga kasamaan. Mamaya pag-usapan natin yan, sino ba yung masasama na yan? Bukod sa sarili natin, no? Tama ba? Parang <laughs> ikaw nga, no? Ano wala ba kayo masama sa sarili natin? Ayun, yes. Okay, ma- <laughs> Kasi po, maganda naman po ako, ha? Hindi, hindi yung ganun. Hindi yung samang itsura, no? Yung masama po talaga tayo. Anyway, so before we go more into that, Seriously, tayo po tayo lahat, magbasa po tayo sa Biblia. John chapter 17. Magsimula po tayo sa verse 6. No? Hanggang um, 16, I think. So let's read this. I have manifested your name to the people whom you gave me out of the world. Yours they were and you gave them to me. And they have kept your word. Word. Now they know that everything that you have given me is from you. For I have given them the words that you gave me, and they have received them and come to know in truth that I came from you. And they have believed that you sent me. I am praying for them. I am not. Not praying for the world, but for those whom you have given me, for they are yours. All mine are yours, and yours are mine, and I am glorified in them. And I am no longer in the world, but they are in the world, and I am coming to you. Holy Father, keep them in your name, which you have given me, that they may be one, even as we are one. While, while I was with them, I kept them in your name, which you have given me. I have guarded them, and not one of them has been lost except the son of destruction, that the scripture might be fulfilled. But now I am coming to you. In these things I speak in the word, the world that they may have my joy fulfilled in themselves. I have given them your word, and the word 
And the world has hated them because they are not of the world, just as I am not of the world. I do not ask that you take them out of the world, but that you keep them from the evil one. They are not of the world, just as I am not of the world. Let us pray. Lord, thank you for the reading of your word. May we learn, Lord, from this and grow from this, Lord God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. All right, thank you so much. Thank you for standing with me as we read the Word of God. That's how we show our reverence to the Word. Importante po sa atin yun because we know that the Word that we're talking about, that is Jesus Christ Himself. From the beginning was the Word. That was the week one. Tama ba? Si Pastor Ferdy talked about it. And of course, after that, si Pastor ano, Jerome, he spoke about the, the Word that gives life. And then of course, I spoke about that. Yung, ano naman, after Pastor Jerome, pinag-usapan po natin yung Word that sustains us. Diba? Sustain po tayo ng Panginoon. And then, we talk about the Word that set us free. Kanaging malaya po tayo dahil sa salita ng Panginoon sa ating lahat. And now, we're talking about this one. Yung the Word keeps us from from evil. Ngayon, maybe we're talking about, eh, paano ba yung Word? Eh, pina, paano bang ginagawa ng Word to keep us away from evil? Kasi lahat po tayo takot sa evil. Sino po dito ang hindi takot sa evil? Tapos kamay. Ngayon, isa lang, no? Sino mga takot sa evil? Tapos kamay. Ay, meron din. Oh, undecided. Sino po yung kahit anong tanong ko talaga, wala kayong pakihilam na parang gano'n. Wala. Ah, meron. Ah, sige, sige. Siguro meron na. Kayo po dyan online, thank you for joining me. Gusto ko sana po kayong batiin sa comment section. Kaya lang di ako makapag-comment. Pinagbawalan niyata ako ng Facebook. You're not allowed. But every, parang three weeks na. Hindi ko alam kung setting yun or, or, or what. So, hindi po mga comment. So, ang comment ko na lang po sa inyo lahat dyan, watching online. Thank you for joining us. So, maraming maraming salamat sa inyong lahat. Ha? And of course, thank you then for coming over sa mga nandito. No? Kahit na matraffic, talagang marubdob sa inyong pagmamahal. Yung, no? Sa inyong puso pag... pagmamahal sa Panginoon. Tama ba? That's why you're here, right? Walang traffic-traffic, no? Come on, sige, palapakan din Panginoon. Parang kulang yata yung palapak natin, ha? Yan. Walang traffic-traffic. Punta kami dyan, okay? We would like to worship God, okay? Kasi we would like to be set free from, you know, evil ones. Okay, to be kept away from evil ones. Okay, and, and we know, yung traffic parang evil din, no? Ano yung yung traffic ngayon? Na nakastress, di ba? Nasa traffic ka na. Di ba? But then again, we're here. So we thank God for your time being here. Alright. And so, um, I believe God is actually setting us away from evil. First, actually by, ano, by the Holy Spirit. No? Yung Holy Spirit na tinatawag, yung Holy Spirit actually nasa atin at nag-talk, nag-speak sa atin na experience ba yun? Nag- yung, yung Holy Spirit na nasa atin, nag-speak sa atin, nagbibigay sa atin ng parang mubulong-bulong na, oh, wag yan, wag ganito, wag, giving us, you know, the inside what is right and what is wrong, what not to do and what is to do, wh- where to go and where not to go. But, of course, yung Holy Spirit na yan, it will not speak to us without us having the Word of God first. In other words, walang basihan eh. Tama ba? And that's why, it's actually, you know, yung tulong-tulong yan eh. God the Father, God the Son who spoke to us and then the Holy Spirit nire-remind sa atin yung mga salita niya. Sabi ni David, di ba? How can a man, a young man, keep his way pure para hindi evil yung kanyang desires and all? by putting yung word ni Lord sa kanyang heart. Di ba? Punuin ng puso. Okay? And so, well, unang-una, gusto ko sabihin, no, ng 
mga tao sa ating pong lahat, tayo po ay masasamang tao talaga. <laughs> And so, pag-usapan po natin dito yung how God affirms us. No? Kahit na po tayo masama, binagito nga yun, masama tayong lahat. No? Pero pag-usapan natin how God affirms us bilang hindi masama. Parang kakaiba yun. Pastor, sinasabi mo. Sabi mo sa amin masama, pero ngayon in-affirm tayo, Lord, na hindi. Nag-gets nyo? Okay. <laughs> Para sige, ano, mamaya mag-gets po natin. The word of affirmation of all believers. Sabi po rito, I have manifested your name to the people who whom you, have, you gave me out of the world. Yours they were and they gave and, and you gave them to me and they kept your word. All right. So gusto ko pong i-highlight yung they kept your word. They kept your word. Yung pinagpi-pray po ni Jesus Christ dito which is I think is the Lord's prayer talaga. Kasi nga hindi po yung yung tinuro niyang ama namin dati. Natandaan niyo ba yung ama namin? In, and we, we know it's, a, it's, it's the Lord's Prayer. Pero hindi. Ang real Lord's Prayer, ito talaga yon. Kasi nga, marami nang sabi, pwede ba yung si Jesus Christ nagpipray, patawarin mo kami sa aming mga kasalanan? Ano bang kasalanan ni Jesus? Parang wala naman tayo maisip, no? Kaya wala naman talaga, diba? You know, is sinless. And so, it, it can never be a Lord's Prayer or the Lord's Prayer. Ito talaga yon. Kasi si Jesus Christ talaga nag-pray nito. Remember, ito po yung ano, araw na malapit na po siyang patayin. Ha? At alam niya na mabibita na papatayin na siya. And so, kailangan niya ipag-pray yung mga disciples niya lang. Hindi po ito prayer for the entire world. It's only for the believers. Specifically for the followers lang. And that's why If you, if you have heard, binasa natin kanina, medyo bypassing lang, mabilis lang, no? Pinag-pray niya yung labing isa. Kasi nawala na raw yung isa, eh. Labing isa na lang sila, nawala na isa. Kasi nga isa, binenta na siya. Remember that? Si Judas yon. And so now, now, si Jesus Christ, pinag-pray niya yung mga believers, mga disciples. And it's not only them, yung 12 or 11. But, yung mga disciples pa in the future. Just like us. So tingnan mo katabi mo. Eh. Tingnan, tingnan mo. Ay, kalayo pala. Tingnan mo. Pinag-pray ni Jesus yan. Kaya pala ganyan itsura niyan, no? no? Pinag- ganyan ang itsura na pinag-pray ni Jesus Christ na bago siya mamatay. Right? Nagpang mga pogit magaganda. Alright, so, sabi ni Jesus Christ dito, look at the word of Jesus. Jesus Christ, you have kept their word, or your word, or they have kept them. In other words, tinupad nila yon. Hindi lang nila tinanggap, hindi lang po na naintindihan, hindi lang sinapuso, tinupad pa. In other words, Jesus Christ saying, they are faithful. Okay? Matutuwid yung mga disciples na yan. God the Father, He's talking to the Father, remember that? He's making a gracious report about them. Pero alam naman natin na hindi sila ganun talaga. Tama ba? Ibig ba sabihin, sinungaling si Jesus Christ sa prayer niya? Si Peter, mabait po yan, Ama. Hindi po ako tatatuhan yan. Ako, hindi ako hindi na yan three times. Walang ganun. Okay? Alam ang ganun? Meron ganun. Ganun eh. Mama, And we know that right after the crucifixion of Jesus Christ, ano nangyari sa mga disciples? They were scattered. Kanya-kanya natin, kanya-kanya natin. Walang pag-asa ang buhay natin kay Jesus Christ. Sayang naman, uwi na. Di ba? Si Thomas, ano si Thomas? Doubter. No? Nagda-doubt. We! Buhay ba talaga si Jesus? Parang di man totoo yan. Ano yan? Hoax yan, uy. <laughs> Unless ma- Nakawaan ko yung sugat niya and all, makita ko siya. Then I believe na totoo siya. You see? So, ganun po ito. Alam ni Jesus Christ 
baptized, yung mga disciples niya ganun. And yet, the word was so kind and gracious. But kaya ganun, no? One thing that I want, I want all of us to learn is this. You know, about this one, the word of God sa atin. Jesus is kind and gracious in making a report about us to His Father. Napaka kind and gracious. Kahit na alam niya na gano'n yung mga disciples niya, ang word niya pa rin, no, they are faithful. They have kept your word. Na sinabi mo sa kanila through me. Ba't gano'n, no? Eh, samantalang tayo, now, tayo naman. Sino po sa inyo rito, napakabaliktad naman may Jesus Christ? Yan. Wag kayo mag, magtas ng kamay. Ha? Kasi baka mahusgahan kayo ng katabi nyo. Di ba tayo, tayo mismo sarili natin, we're not kind and gracious sa mga words natin sa ating sarili. Pag nagkamali tayo, ako napakaegot ko talaga, tanga-tanga ko talaga, sinasabi ko na eh. Ako nang pinakamasama sa aming magkakapatid. Di ba ganun, no? Na-experience nyo na ba yan? Ano ba yan? Ba't ganito ko? Bakit ganito ko? Pangit ko talaga. Okay. <laughs> ganon, ganon, right? Wala tayong, kag- wala tayong kag- ano, kindness. Walang gracia sa sarili natin when we speak towards ourselves, not to ourselves. Pero si Lord, hindi ganon. And not only that, kung ganun po tayo sa, sa ating sarili, eh, ga- kumusta naman on how we speak towards others. Oh, di ba, no? Alam mo yung kakalala ko, ganyan talaga. Oh, oh, huwag na lang, no? Ganun tayo, no? Dami natin sinasabing masama sa iba. Nagkamali na ng konti. Alright? Nakaiwan naka, naka, lang ng ano, nagkakain kayo, so nakaiwan lang siya ng pambayad. Ganyan naman talaga yan, eh. Kunyari pa yan, napakuri po talaga yan. Naku, hindi lang ganyan. Yan, no? <laughs> Mangungupit pa yan. Nangalamang pa nga eh. Yan, yan mo. Ganun tayo. No? We're not gracious in our words. We're not kind in our words. But si Jesus Christ is different. Sabi niya, and then, no, no, God, the Father, no? they are faithful. They have kept your word. And you know what? Lahat po tayo rito, we're unfaithful. Tama nga ba? We fail at times. Misa nga, maraming failures tayo. But guess what? When the Lord, you know, make a report about you, as sinabi Jesus Christ, ay faithful yan. Amen ba? Ay, tapat yan. Ay, si Bruce, ay, ano yan? Tapat yan, sabi ni Jesus Christ. Okay yan. Sa kanyang ama, sa ating ama nasa langit. Amen ba? Gusto niyo ba yung ganun? And I'm so glad. I love God. Sabi sa akin ng Lord na, Lord, alam kong report mo sa akin sa God the Father is good. Tapat ako, mabuti ako, kahit na alam kong hindi naman. Amen ba? And I think God deserves a clap of praise for that. No? Lord, salamat Panginoon. No? Ang ganda report mo sa akin. Well, I believe kasi si Jesus Christ is all-knowing. Alam niya naman na itong mga disciples na ito, yes, sa, sa, sa semplang yan, papalpak yan. But then again, I know they're going to recover. They're going to be restored. Peter will be a mighty preacher. And just like the rest. Tama ba? And that's why silang lahat nga, ano, namatay, martyr. See, by preaching the word, because God knew na hindi lang sila basta mananatiling unfaithful. You know, tayo rin ganon. Short-sighted tayo kasi. Ang problema sa atin, ang nakikita lang natin, mga failures natin today. Hindi natin nakikita yung future. But to God, dahil alam niya, all-knowing yan, alam niya lahat na one day, kahit na palpak-palpak tayo. Ngayon, marami tayong nagagawang kasalanan, kahit nasa tingin natin, parang walang patutungan ng buhay natin. You know what? In God's eyes, in the loving, you know, in gracious eyes of God, He knew that you're going to be the better, you're going to come up a better person than you are today. Mas importante, mas importante, mas magaling ka ngayon. Or mas magaling ka pa in the future. 
Hindi importante yung panahon nila noon, sabi ni Peter. And sabi ni God, I think in his eyes, okay lang, Al- alam ko naman nasa sample lang yan. But what's, what, what's more important is after that, after the restoration, there will be a better Peter, a better Thomas, diba? a better disciple, Matthew and John. And so, kayo din, there will be a better you in the future. Amen? Do you agree on that? Na hindi kayo manatiling ganyan lang? Hindi kayo manatiling taga-upo lang? Isang araw, pastor, ako nagbe-preach dyan. Tama ba? Nakikita niyo ba sarili niyo na ganon? Parang ayaw niyo na ng ganon. Hindi, hindi ako manatiling ganto-ganto lang. Hindi ako manatiling lugi-lugi lang o gumagawa ng kasalanan lang. Hindi, I'm going to be restored because God prayed for me. Jesus Christ prayed for me. And if you know that Jesus Christ prayed for you, God will answer that, right? A righteous yung prayer na yun eh. Because it's the perfect intercession from God Himself. Pag pinag-pray kayo, pag pinag-pray ko kayo, magduda muna kayo ng konti kasi si Pastor J. Lord lang yun eh. Pero pag si Jesus Christ nag-pray sa'yo, ay, huwag kayo magduda. Amen? Pinag-pray tayo na sabi God, we, are faithful, then we have to believe that. Alright? And so, now, as, as we move on, okay, sabi pa rito, now they know that everything that you have given me is from you. Alam na nila yan, Lord. Alam na nila. Eh, samantalang nagda-doubt nga sila. Di ba? Eh, totoo ba yan? Nabuhay ba talaga? Eh, mga ganun. Nag, yung ano, nagkanya-kanya nga sila eh. You see? That's how gracious God is. Alam po ninyo, maybe ganun din po kayo. Misan nga, misan nga sa atin, sumisimple lang sa ibang, simple lang, di ba? Love your enemy, eh, hindi natin mamahal. Pero sabi ng Lord, di, mahal niya yung enemy niya. Alright? Pero sabi, sabi natin, hindi, hindi ko mahal. Hindi, love, love mo yon. I believe that because Jesus Christ prayed for you. That one day you're going to do that. Mamahalin mo talaga. You see? That's how God sees us. Perhaps given them the words that you, have gave, that you gave me. And they have received them and have come to know in truth that I came from you and that I believe that you sent me. You see? Naniwala na sila, Lord. Wala pa nagdadawad dyan. Okay? Walang doubt dyan. Okay? Dito ba meron? Wala, no? Praise God. Sa online, meron ba nang doubt dyan? Yan, wala, no? Huwag po kayo mag-type na. Nag-doubt po ako. Pero okay lang naman pumisabi sa nagda-doubt. Part din ng buhay natin yun. Just like Thomas. No? Nag-doubt din siya. Because it's a healthy kind of doubt. Na gusto talaga maging solid yung kanyang pananampalataya. And so he questioned yung validity nung pagtayo ni Jesus Christ from the dead. Okay? Totoo ba talaga yun? Now, when he confirmed it, ano nangyari kay Thomas? Grabe. Patay kung patay. Sinibat na nga yun, di ba? Doon siya namatay sa India. Sinibat sa pag-preach ng gospel. You see? So I'm praying for them. I'm not praying for the world. You see? This is what I'm saying. Sorry to say, no? Hindi po ito para sa lahat. Yeah, I know that God loves the world, but yung prayer na to, iba to. Para sa'yo lang to. Tingnan mo katabi mo, habi mo para sa'yo yan. Habi mo nga. Ayun, para sa'yo yan. Right? Pag wala nagturo sa'yo, kawawa ka naman. Para sa'yo yan, wala nagturo sa inyo. <laughs> para sa inyo yan, okay? Para sa atin yan. God prayed for us specifically sa mga believers noon at para sa atin ngayon. You see? All mine are yours and yours are mine and I'm glorified in them. This is so sure, no? very sure na prayer ni Jesus Christ. I am glorified in them. Ha, huh, Lord? Glorified ka sa buhay ko. Eh. Puro palpang ka nagagawa ko. Eh. Hindi nga ako ma-promote po sa trabaho. Akong pinaka-late doon. Ang dami kong kaawa. 
bahay. Lahat ng po nang gamit namin sa bahay, na ginagamit ng anak ko sa pag-aaral, galing sa kusina namin yan eh. Alam mo yun, yung ball pen, yung papel, lahat. Ang... So, pusina po, galing yan. Okay. And you are glorified in me. Maybe you doubt it. But I get, you know, but, but this is what I must say to, I want to say to you. But that's sinabi ni Jesus Christ yan. Pinag-pray niya yan. One day, God will be glorified in your life. Maring, hindi pa ngayon. You have to believe. Kailangan natin maniwala. Lord, sang araw, isosoli ko lahat ng mga ball, pen, mga papel, di ba? Nakinuha ako na yan. Dodoblihin ko pa. Para kang si ano, no? Kung si Isaacius, no? Tama ba? Ganun tayo ngayon. Alright? Lahat ng mga ninakawang ko, dinugasan kong tindahan, pag nagawa ko na grocery, mga ganun, di ba? Sige, sige, binless ka ni Lord. You see? Ganyan tayo lahat. Kung dati po, hindi po, kung sudyante ka, dati po, or sa bahay lang, di po, naguhugas ang plato ngayon, lahat ugasan ko, pati bubong namin, pader, di ba? Pati kotse, ugasan ko yan. Bakit? God will be glorified in your life. Alright? Now, in the words of many and even in our own, we are unfaithful but not in the words of Jesus. This is what I want to say to us. No? I hope you will embrace it with all of your heart. Not in the words of God. Not in the words of Jesus. Maybe you're saying, I'm a failure, you know, I'm not good. There's nothing good that will come out from me. Talagang wala nang patutunguhan. I have no future, but not in the Word of God. Alam ni Lord na may future ka. Alam ni Lord na hindi ka manantiling ganyan. Alam ni Lord hindi tayo manantiling ganito. Amen? One day, hindi pa tayo manantiling parang lagi na lang naka-face mask, di ka na makangiti, di ba? One day, wala na pandemic. Tama ba? Do you believe that? Oh, come on. One day, sama-sama tayo rito, mag-worship tayo together. Tama ba? Oh, Sige, pala pa natin sila. Parang di naman kayo masaya ron. Para... Opo, ay, wala po ako tayo. Pag ganon, okay? Number two, ano pinag-pray ni Jesus Christ? Yung word ni Lord. That's keeps us from evil. We're actually being kept from evil, number one, by affirmation. Ina-affirm muna tayo. All right. may, may, ano yun, may psychological effect din yun. Ha? Kapag yung bata gawa-gawa ng masama, tapos sinasabi mong, sabi ko na masama ka talaga eh, lalong magiging masama yun eh. Pero sinasabi mong, hindi, mabuti kang talagang bata ka. Okay? Okay ka talaga, gumagawa ka ng mabuti. <gasps> nagkakaroon ng effect. Tama? Then, nag-start siyang gumawa ng tama, na mabuti. You see? Words yun eh. So, we begin, you know, from, we are being kept from evil from that, having the good words, affirmation. And number two, the word of unity of all believers. Kinakailangan to magsama-sama, magkaya sa mga believers. Ito prayer ni Jesus Christ dito. I'm no longer in the world, but they are in the world. Wala na ako sa mundo, pero dito pa sila, sabi ni Jesus Christ. And I am coming to you, Holy Father, keep them in your name, which you have given me, that they may be one, even as we are one. Sabi, keep, keep, keep them in your name. Parang in your name's sake. Okay? Para sa kaluwalatia. Yan ang yung pangalan. Keep them one. Make them united. Keep us to be one in God. Anong sabihin nito? You know, tayo po, gusto kong makita natin sa verse na to, sinasabi rito ni Lord, that we are still in this world, although we are not of this world. I hope that's clear. Every believer are actually still in the world, but they are not of the world. Hindi po tayo sa mundo. And so therefore, yung affair na kung saan po dapat tayo involved talaga, hindi yung affair ng mundo. Kundi yung affair ng mundong meron sa atin. And that is the world with Jesus Christ. 
Okay? And a problem, since we are of this world, sometimes, lagi tayo nakikisaw-saw sa affair ng mundo masyado. Tama ba? Kaya tuloy, ang dami-dami nagdi-divide sa atin sa mundong ito. We're believer. We are united in Christ. And yet, we're divided at times or maraming reason. Ay, nako ilan na nga po nag-away-away sa Facebook dahil sa politika. Pero mga believers yun, isang church nga yun natin dan eh. Tama ba? Parang in-unfriend na, I hate you! Kasi ano kayo ba kulay mo? Okay, pink ka, blue ako, I hate you! Kahit na pareho tayo sa church, no? Ganon-ganon. Tama ba? Ang dami natin mga division, no? Dahil lang dyan. Ako nalulungkot ako doon kasi first and foremost, we are brothers and we are sisters in Christ. And so that could be the highest form of unity kung saan tayo pwedeng magkaisa. Parang, ha, eh, politika lang yan eh. Alright? Or sometimes sa atin, Jollibee, Macdo, may nag-aaway pa. Ano ka ba? Jollibee ka? Oh, Macdo ako eh. Pasensya na ha. Ha? Mga ganun. <laughs> Or, di ba sa atin, di ba, alam mo yun, yung, ako, napakarami. Ating, uh, ano ka, ano ka, Nike ka, Adidas ako, mga ganun. O Lakers ka, Golden State ako. Pasensya na bro, ha? Ha? Mga talo kayo, ha? Ngayon, <laughs> mga ganun, ganun, di ba? Kasi, dami, dami pinag-aawal. Channel 2 ka, wala na, buti nga. Gumagano pa iba, no? Ako, seven kami, mag... You see? But we are believers, we're Christians. Why do we allow ourselves to be, you know, divided by the things of the world? Well, in fact, we're not of this world. And so, ako po, personally, if you're gonna ask me, Pastor, sino mo boto mo? Akan na lang yun, okay? Or pwede namang, yeah, ilagay ko sa Facebook, okay lang din naman, magigay ako ng hint, okay lang din, but I'm not going to force it or enforce it to anyone. Hindi ako gagawa ng bagay na magbibigay ng konting lamat or karak sa ating relasyon as believers, as Christians. Why? Because I choose you more than my president. Because you are my sister in Christ. Because you are my brother in Christ. Because we're brothers, we're sisters. Amen? I will not allow you, mga kulay-kulay na yan, divide yung aking relationship with my friends. Why? With my family. Why? Because I choose them more than my political, you know, affiliation. Or leanings. Who cares? Di niya ako kilala eh. Kilala ba ako ng mga presidents? Hindi. Pero, kita, pero ikaw kilala kita. And you are my friend. You are my brother. You are my sister in Christ. I will choose you more than anything else in this world. Amen? That's the unity that we have. And so all the reasons that divides us are nothing compared to the to reason that unites us. And that is Christ. Tignan mo katabi mo. Tignan mo, tignan mo. Yan, no? Tignan mo, magkaya ba kayo ng kulay, di ba? Ng mga <laughs> sinuportahan. Pero, they are your brothers. They are your sisters. Alright? I hope the prayer of Jesus Christ really matters here. Now, we are united no matter what. Yes, let the world be divided, but the believers of Christ, we are one. Amen? Tayo po yung nagkakaisa sa ating Panginoon. We might be divided in many things, but we are one in Christ. Tayo pa nagkakaisa sa ating Panginoon. It's Jesus that separates us from this world, but unites us as brothers and sisters. Kung meron mang division na meron dapat makita, tayo at ang mundo. Ibang-iba dapat yung ating response para may politika, iba-iba dapat ang response natin pag mayroong mga championship ng NBA Billy, no? O kaya naman nung mga channel natin and all. 
or you know university wars may ganun gusto pa ba yung ganun nasal kami UP kayo tinay eh ganun see no we are one in Christ okay and lastly ano pa pinagpray ni Jesus Christ of course the word of protection but before i pray i talk about this one why do we have to be united because if we are united we have greater you know protection pagsama-sama tayo mas ligtas ang lahat tama ba kaya nga iba nagpapafrat no sa mga schools kasi may frat tayo kasi pag marami tayo tapang ko eh pag magisa lang ko eh ana ba abugbugin ako eh Pero pag marami, tapang mo. Tapang na-experience nyo ba yun? Wala naka-experience ng ganun. Kami lang talaga yung masasamang tao rito eh. <laughs> Or may barkada kayo, di ba? Kasi nga, tapang mo. Sayang saya, mo na kami. Wala, walang pwede mang hold up sa amin o mga sakit sa amin, sama-sama kami. Alright? But that's true. Kapag we are united, you know, we are actually forced to reckon with. Strong tayo. There's strong protection. That's why God dapat sama-sama mga believer. Alright? Kaya nga dapat sama-sama tayo rito talaga. Okay? It's time to gather together. No? Pag kayo po lagi nasa online, naku, punta na po kayo rito. Huwag po yung takot sa COVID. Naku, wala yung COVID na yan. <laughs> Alright, anyway. So, Lastly, let's talk about this and then it's time up na raw sabi ni the words of protection of all believers. Ito po yung last prayer ni Jesus Christ. I have given them your word and the word, the world has hated them. Kita nyo na? Kung meron man nag-hate sa atin, mundo yon. Hindi dapat yung kapatid mo sa pananampalataya. Okay ba? Yung mundo, they hate us, sabi ni Jesus Christ, because they are not of the world. Just as I am not of the world, I do not ask that you take them out of the world. You see? Hindi ko sinasabing, alisin mo sa mundo yan. In other words, sabi ni Jesus Christ, okay, hindi ko mag, hindi ko gusto gawin mga monghe at mga mongha ito, mga believer. Let them be part of the world. Okay, dyan lang din sila. Okay? But, keep them from evil one. Ayan na. Keep them from evil one. Ito na nga, eh, pastor, sino ba yung evil one na yan? Ikaw yun. Ha? Huh? It's like ko kanina, di ba? Keep them from evil one. Well, totoo naman. Tama ba? The Bible declares, no one is good, not even one. And so, if we're not good, then who are we? Evil. Ang <laughs> ganda ko, evil. You are evil. Just like me. Tama ba? Okay. And so, if we don't believe that, tingnan nyo to ah. Sinyo rito may dala kayo yung sakyan. Di ba, iniwan sa parking, nilock nyo. No? Kasi nga, alam natin mga evil yung katabi ko eh. Nag-park dito. Uy, kakilala ko to ah. Park kay Kochi, Kochi ni Pastor J. Lord to ah. Kaya, Kahit na, lako pa rin sa akin. Di ba? <laughs> you see? Because we all, all believe that we're all evil talaga. Although sometimes, or although many believe we're not, but we are. Sabi ng Bible, no one is good, not even one. And so therefore, we are evil. The Bible also tells, tells us that yung heart po natin, anong heart natin? Deceitful. Beyond repair. And so, yung evil talaga nasa atin yun. Mandurugas tayo. By heart. Tama? And so, we're evil talaga. And so, that's why, sabi nyo, beyond repair yan. Kailangan palitan. Ganyan po tayo ka-evil. And so, we have to be, you know, protected from ourselves as well. And that's why we have to be united. This is the logic there. Kapag mag-isa ka lang, kahit na kristyano ka, naku, eh, problema yan. Malamang-lamang, puro ka sa mga nagagawin mo, puro ka mga nagagawin mo. Bakit? Because naturally, we're evil. 
Pero pag nandyan si ano, uy, andyan yung kapatid ko, uy, andyan yung victory group leader ko, hindi na muna ako mangungupit. <laughs> ah, magta-tight siya ako. Chicken dyan, makita eh. Tama ba? You see? That's why we have to be united. One of the reasons, how, you know, or the, the plan of God for us to, keep, to, to be kept from evil is to be united. Now, aside from that, Sa, ano pa mga evil yan? Yung heart natin, nabanggit ko na. What else? Yung sarili natin. We're, we're all evil. We have to be protected from ourselves. And that's why we need accountability. Kapag kayo po, wala po kayong victory group, ako problema ang malaki yan. Pag kayo po, wala po kayo yung accountable, yung accountable partner, ako problema po yan. Okay? You will actually doom to distraction. Why? Eh kasi nga, we're evil. That's point that we have to understand. Pangalawa, of course, evil of this world. Maraming evil sa mundo natin. Tama ba? Pero, kalamidad, you know, may mga hold up. Traffic, evil. But, okay lang. Hindi po ibig sabihin, mawalan po ng pain sa atin. But of course, God is saying, keep them away from that. In other words, pwede naman po na may mga evil na ganyan, but we're no longer affected. Eh ano kung mamatay tayo, punta naman tayo ka sa heaven. That's the level of faith that God is actually saying here, nasa sabi ni Jesus Christ. And what's the ultimate evil? Sin and death. And of course, is Satan. Tama ba? Sin and death. Eh, sin, gumagawa ng sin, tayo rin yun. Eh, tayong evil. Kita nyo na. And that's why, Lord, kung meron man prayer, kung meron man tayong prayer in response to this prayer, Lord, keep me away from myself, from my own desires, from me being alone, from me having no accountability, from me, you know, allowing my heart to lead me. Kasi nga, my heart is deceitful. I am so wicked. And Lord, yung sin, gusto ko sabihin, wala na, po sa, wala na pong power sa atin yan. There's no, yung sin and death, wala na po, because Jesus Christ prayed for us about it. Alright? And, and lastly, of course, wala tayong matakot kay Satan. It cannot actually do us harm. Okay? Because God is there who prepared, who prayed for us. And not only that, He defeated Satan more than 2,000 years ago. Doon pa lang sa battle in the wilderness, He was defeated. And also, when He sent disciples, iba, sabi niya, I saw Satan fell from the sky like a lightning. And so, here, I want to end here. Again, the only evil that we have to really pray to God is us. Tayo yon. Amen? And so, actually, God is our defender and protector from all evils. Totoo po yan. Keep us away from committing sin, from the power of sin. Away from the seduction of the world. Away, of course, from the temptation and deception and lies of Satan. And away from our own desires. They are not of the world. I'm not of this world. Sabi po rito, lastly, sabi niya, when I, sa dulo na lang po, no evil will prosper to anyone under God's protection whom Jesus had prayed for. If God prayed for you, and I know He did. You know, no evil will prosper against you. Amen? Not even our own desires will rule us. Sino po sa inyo rito, natutunan niyo na pong i-let go ang desire niyo for the good of others, for the glory of God. Na hindi mo na kailangan let go before. Tama ba? That's the effect of God's prayer for you and for me. Nagbabago yan. Kasi nga po, effective ang prayer ni Jesus Christ sa atin. Iba nga rito, parang ginigibap na yung desire na magkaroon ng big bike. Parang nararamdaman 
Damang ko lang. May ganong tao, no? Iba, dinidigib up yung iba. It's because God is transforming us. Amen? Sige, tayo po tayo lahat. We're gonna close in prayer. <clears throat> I hope we're all encouraged knowing that the evil one that God is keeping us away from is ourselves. Naka-encourage ba yun? Parang hindi yata kayo na-encourage doon eh, no? Parang hindi yata naka-encourage yung pastor. Pero that's the truth. That's the truth. It's reality. When I was thinking about it, Lord, isang evil ba kami pinapaalis or pinaprotektahan? At sa sarili natin talaga. Because the Bible tells us that and we cannot deny it. Tayo yon, di ba? Mali-mali ang ating motivation, mali-mali desire natin. And so I think it's about time for us to come to God and say, Lord, thank you for praying for me. Lord, salamat po kasi pinalangin mo ako na, you know mo, na alam alam mo mong mali, ang, mali po ang laman ng aking puso. And so, Lord, today, let's come to God. Lord, today, we surrender our lives to you, Lord. Ang sarili po namin, Panginoon, we know, Lord God, that our hearts, Lord God, is so deceitful, beyond repair. And that's why, Lord, you said you have to replace it with a new one. Lord, our desires, Lord, is unlimited, are unlimited, Panginoon. Wala pong katapusan. And mostly, ng desire po namin, Panginoon, leads us to sin and death and destruction. Mostly, Panginoon, para sa aming sarili lamang. For our own pleasure. Lord, forgive us, Panginoon. And Lord, we say that the prayer of Jesus Christ before He was hanged on the cross to keep us away from evil, Panginoon, be enforced in our lives right now in the name of Jesus Christ. Take us, Lord God, into that level wherein everything in us, Lord, is surrendered to You, Lord. Even our own desires, Lord. Even the, heart, the contents of our hearts. Panginoon, salamat po for keeping us away from the bondage of sin and death. Maraming maraming salamat po, Panginoon, that we are free. And Lord, salamat because it's You who has been protecting us, Panginoon, from evil ones. Yung mga evil na nangyayari, Panginoon, sa paligid namin, and even against your enemy, Panginoon, sin and death, and against Satan. And Lord, you are doing this because our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, has prayed for us. So thank you, God, for that. Maraming maraming salamat po that we are safe. Nor, not even COVID, Panginoon, 19. Lord, it might be a great evil around us, Lord. But Lord, it could not stop us from coming here on site praising you, worshiping you, Lord God, because, Lord, our heart, Lord, is centered to you. And Lord, salamat po na meron po kaming Christ-centered life, not family-centered life, not, not children-centered life, not pleasure-centered life, not hobby-centered life, Lord, not even church-centered life, it's Christ-centered life. And that's why, Lord, we are bold here to come together and praise you no matter what. Salamat po. We praise you, God. We honor you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Palakpakan po natin ating Panginoon. Come on. And lastly, you know, I want to pray for every, another group of people. If you are here, if it's your first time to hear this, at gusto mo na maging malaya. Malaya you know, or be protected from evil one. And that might be yourself. The only thing is this. We have to surrender our lives to God. Hindi na 
po tayo dapat naghahari sa puso natin o sa buhay natin. Let God be the Lord over our lives. No longer us. And then you're going to be protected from the greatest evil. And that is actually your heart. Sabi po ng Bible, di ba, yung love of money is the root of all evil as well. Eh, di ba, desire natin yan? Desire ng puso natin yan? Kaya mga pera nyo, bigay nyo na sa akin. Anyway, so, tapat niya ako nag-joke doon. Anyway, so, I want to pray for you. Let's surrender our hearts to God. Lord, today, if that's you, follow me in this prayer. I'm surrendering my life. Alam ko po, I'm a sinner. And Lord, I've been living this life on my own. My own future, my own dreams, my own desires, Lord. It's not even Christ-centered. It's me in my self-centered life. And Lord, I surrender my life to you now. And I make you as the Lord and the Savior of my life. Forgive me sa lahat po na aking mga kasalanan. And Lord, today, I receive that salvation, the gift of salvation. And thank you for writing my name in the book of life. Thank you, God, for the newness of life that I have found in you. In Christ Jesus, my Lord, this is my prayer. Amen and amen. If you have prayed that prayer, thank you so much. You know, you did a great decision of making Lord Jesus Christ as the Lord of your life. And you know what? Our leaders, if you are online, pwede pong ilagay lang po doon. I pray that prayer and our leaders will connect with you and they will help you Uh, grow in the, or journey with you in the newness of the life that you have found in Christ, in the faith that you have in the Lord. Alright? And for the rest of us, I hope you are blessed. Pwede pa palakpakan natin yung Panginoon once more? Let's worship Him. Let's honor Him. And uh, receive the Lord's blessing. Let's raise our hands before God. Even online, or receive the Lord's blessing. May the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord make His face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the Lord lift His countenance upon you and give you peace in the mighty and matchless name of our Lord Jesus Christ. This is my prayer. Amen. And amen. All right, God bless you guys. We're all dismissing you again next week. Here in online and on site. God bless.